Hello, and we are back with 9S Adventure number two. So we are going to check on the chest over here. Access got hit again. Right. Paper attract reverse. Oh, hey. This is data from the old world. All right, I just want to fix some things. All right, so now we are so going to... So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. Yeah. That right off. Type 45th. Woo. Alright. Your number. Hmm? Um, my name is Anemone. Yeah, so I'm the leader of a lot the of the stuff will be the similar. Uh, 9S will have his own about. quest. Well. Uh, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please feel free to ask them anything you like. Uh, there's also a chest back here that we're just going to pick up now since it's going to be out of the way so I don't forget later. Right. Large recovery. Alright. Not bad. Alright, so, because we need this guy. That's everything the supply trader asked for. Man, these chores are a real pain in the butt, huh? The Resistance is a valuable ally to Yorha. By helping them, we also help ourselves. So no, I don't think they're a pain. Yeah, mm. yeah. Just gotta help the one guy, then you. I miss. Hello, the moose. This moose. must have been quite a city once upon a time. Too bad vegetation's <laughs> claimed most of it now. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. This is 9S. Nothing to report. Weather's sure nice today, though. Nothing to report. Copy that. And no need for a weather report. Operator 210 out. Uh, you don't have to be so formal all the time, Operator. Though I kind of like that about you. Okay, so we need to get on top of a Have we seen these things before? How much damage did that do? I didn't really do anything. All right. Uh, although there is something that I want to do, uh, and that's get on top of here. Alright. 
ragged DVD. Alright, so now let's go get the requirements needed for the one mission. Plant life has claimed most of the central area. Big plants, too. Report. Records show that vegetation has grown to an abnormal size since the departure of humans. Hmm. Wonder if there are any huge boars and such, too. I, I like that, how that's like a little reference to the first Nier with the giant boar at the end of the game. It's really kind of funny that they put that in there. But one thing that I this hope is returns that is board drifting. Uh -oh. Fucking that was the I'm most hilarious thing forms. that they did. Uh, if you don't know what board drifting is, uh, I guess uh, in the very first near game, it was it was kind of funny that how they. Um, worked it because I guess the boars in this game they don't do exactly the same thing as the first near which I was kind of a little bit eh. but it is very freaking hilarious because what you do is um, it, it, when you go to run I guess uh, you wind up um, gaining a lot of speed but if I think it's like B or circle or whatever button and you could do like a Tokyo Drift on a board and it was one of the most hysterical fucking things ever Just wind or what? Where is it? All right, that should be enough. Let's get these back to the trader. So what's interesting is the first boss of um, is going to be the same level as the first, uh, like a route A, which I find really interesting. Some bosses stay similar, some don't. All right. Yes. All right. So now we gotta go to the desert. So I'm gonna Operator to 9X. skip a lot. Transferring coordinate data for the location specified by Resistance leader. Nice operator. You work fast. Mindless chatter drains energy. 9S. Please keep your comments reserved for mission-related topics. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna quickly head on over. Now, we're gonna go and take a different route for a second. Uh. The Council of Humanity has a message for all of our brave androids fighting on the surface. Currently, our struggle against the machine life forms is at a stalemate. This battle has raged for far too long. I am sure all of you find the effort grueling. But now is not the time to give up. Now, more than ever, we must forge on. 
Remember that several hundred thousand humans on the moon want nothing more than to return to Earth. Glory to mankind. Those council broadcasts are always so stiff. We've got mail. Mail notification received from access point. So we're just gonna quickly go up here and then we're gonna come back down. Cause at the end of this path there should be a chest. That's the cruel spear, I believe. Cruel blood oath. Yep. Alright, so we're still gonna continue on our path. Um, I'm gonna go down here for a second. So, do you remember when we got uh, the lunar tier in the one episode we are going back there because there is some more chests so in the desert there's going to be a lot of chests that we're going to be getting um because there's quite a bit of stuff project gestalt six. Oh, there's a reference Right, so now we're gonna go So that's where the lunar tier is and then right here is another chest Mysterious lithograph I didn't know they can drop those. Okay. I don't know if anything's over here, but I'll check quickly. Right. So now we are back here. All right, now we can continue. Hey, names. I hear you're planning to take. I guess that means. Looks like it. Hmm. We want to have. Don't go. Oh, uh, you can kind of glitch through certain walls, but I'm not a speedrunner, and I'm not good with button performance. There's gotta be an easier way, right? Luckily for 9S, uh, he doesn't have the cutscenes of certain events, but he does get uh, something sure different. Slippery. Right, so we're gonna go to the oil field quickly to pick up some other stuff here. So 
this is where you usually get a desert rose, but you can also get it from here. Drugs there if you want, but we're just here for this. Full recovery, really? Man. All right, so we're gonna start a quest with uh, one of the people that are up here. Yeah, so the quest is going to be called like uh, something of the past, I believe. I can't remember, but in order to do it, you need to do it on uh, one of the routes when you have a dynamic scanner to be able to find some stuff. There it is, just the past. There we go. Relics from the old world. Searching for relics in the desert without assistance might prove difficult. Proposal Unit 9S should use the dynamic scanner. Mysterious lithograph number three. Cool. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find it. And I believe it's on one of the other rims of like these areas. A lot of the desert area does have a lot of stuff to find. And you'll notice that your skinner will come sometimes. Oh no 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 yeah, Those are not fun to fuck with It's fine. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. If they wanted help, why would they be attacking us? Yeah. Where is that area?
old world material obtained. Hypothesis. Said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization. They'll also need to get the chest that's in this desert. Gestalt number eight. So we're still finding stuff. Okay. Material obtained. Hypothesis. Said material is likely a relic from an ancient civilization. Alright, let's get our final one. Marked it so that way. Okay. This is one of those quests I do not really like.
That was dumb of me. Come on. I was just taking a long time. better. Human culture? Examples of said clothing can be found in motion pictures that humans created for entertainment purposes. More specifically, they were from a genre known as westerns that chronicled warfare in a certain region of the planet. Warfare as entertainment? What were humans thinking? This is the weapon that's perfect for 9S. Alright, so we are back here and we are just gonna. Run, 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 scary. Yeah. So it's heading now to that we're... rocky area. Individual target ID marked. Yeah, so th there's a few chests in this area too that only 9S can get as well. And here's our first. Once long ago, a volcano erupted. From the fires of the eruption, a god emerged. So apparently, One what day, he's talking about is BP, which is uh, P33 from the first Near game. Joy.
Yeah, so What's it's that? really interesting Analysis. learning about the stuff. It is a ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures okay, were so referred to by names such as find... apartment complex. I wonder why they insisted on living in such large groups. Things must have been really dangerous around here, huh? Negative. Living conditions were mandated by economic imbalance and a lack of space. Man, humans sure are weird creatures. <laughs> Mail notification received from access point. Alright, so there is I believe a chest around here. Talk to you very easily missed one too. Look at that. And before we grab that, there's also one apparently back here, so. Bullet record. Alright, so in the 9S playthrough, we are gonna try to do the playthrough as much as we can. Like, a lot of this stuff, we're just going to be trying to get the chest that we need. If we can find them. Um, so, I am planning to get 100% of everything, but it is going to be difficult. Especially with the fact that a lot of this stuff can be hidden pretty well. But, uh, that's why it's always good to check around and stuff. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. My nose got it. Yeah. So one thing I also want to mention that I find pretty interesting is the development of Nier. I found really um interesting because I guess uh during uh Drakengard Free when uh he did um his promotional video, I believe. So this is during Dragon Guard Free. He mentioned how near Tanama, or not not near Tanama, the first near, and stuff like so. The first game was based on the thoughts of killing and how words. he found it insane how people could glorify killing and such, as well as all that. So he made Dragon Guard on the fact of like. The main character in his army is meant to be, you know, insane and stuff. What are they doing? And then I guess after, um, gathered here. I guess after the events of 9/11 and stuff like that, I guess his opinion changed on the matter of people don't have to be insane to kill; they just have to think that they're right, which, um. I guess uh, influenced his creation on Nier being the fact that like, what's with these Android bodies? You, you, you just Stay have focused. to think that you're in the right or that they're in the right to kill. I thought it was interesting when I first heard of that. Alright. <laughs> I still like this scene. I don't know why. It's, it's pretty um fun. Um... What is this? Yeah. Don't listen well, I wonder to me. Chest here somewhere. Or did I already open it? So uh, after Adam and 
uh, after a fight with Adam, you can come here and there's a lot of crazy shit, um, such as, uh, I guess, um, for a lot of them, you'll, you'll fight like nine non-stop enemies at times, and you can get like, uh, like if you're, if you're gonna need to like level up or grind, like, this area is pretty decent for it. Um, after uh, Adam's fight, uh, however, the boss, the enemies can be pretty tough. Uh, not gonna lie, they can be uh, pretty high level. So it's definitely um, like you, you, you just want to kind of stay there. I am not paying attention properly. I I do like uh, the sound cues that this game does for like enemy attacks when you hear that and the eyes flash red. So I like that there's visual and audio cues for that. So, uh, so another thing that I didn't realize is cutscenes will pick up all the items apparently. I didn't know that until I was watching a speed run by Ami, I believe his name is, or whatnot. Uh, he's a friend of Fullest, I guess. So, uh, yeah, so apparently that. Also, another thing too about uh, Route B is this fight will always be the same with Adam only going to level 10. You know, I never fought to do this when I first played. Can you? If Adam is a android machine An hybrid, android? no, this this is a machine. Whatever he is, can he be half? Can I hack you? Yeah, I didn't know you could hack him or not. Um, I, I, I never tried to do that the first ever time I played it. I know that uh, when you fight A2 at the end, or even in, you know, well, not at the end, at the, I think it's the first fight or second fight. There's apparently an Easter egg for hacking one. one of them. So right now I got the Spear of the Usurb, which fully upgraded will allow you to have enemies 
fight alongside, so like machines and stuff. Uh, which I thought was pretty neat to hear about. It stopped. Looks like we're safe now. So that's what the pretty hell good. just happened? I know. Um, I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. Yeah. Alright, so I will cut the episode here and I'll see you guys next time.